Yes, guys, in today's video, I'm going to do kind of a plea from us to EA. FC24 is a game that, when it first came out, if I'm honest, it looked like they finally got it right. The gameplay seemed to have a style to it where you can actually build and implement a gameplay that you want. You can play with a style, whether it's tiki taka, counter, whatever it is. With the tactic systems we already had, we had the chance to actually build a game we all enjoy. No, it is the same old problem. This was their chance to separate themselves from that FIFA tag and really just go out on their own. Because with Ultimate Team, it has made the game just a menu-based game. All you do is go through, trying to play through the menu, and the gameplay is secondary. That is not what we want FIFA for. We want to play and express ourselves. That's why this year I feel like clubs has kind of come on a little bit more again. Because everyone's sick of Ultimate Team. But it's easily fixed because the gameplay has just a few problems. And I'm going to talk about the main three to me in the actual gameplay. And if I do miss any, comment down below. Let me know how your experience has gone so far and what you're finding. So the first one I want to talk about is one that we all know. It's the play styles, but not just the play styles. It's stuff like the Traveller. Obviously, we saw the Trickstar Plus. That one got, we got rid of that one because of the issues with the dribbling there as well, getting stuck to the leg. What is that? This is the problem. When you bring something in, people find the meta. And that takes me on to the main part. People like Griezmann, Salah, who aren't even that good in game, are ridiculous because they've got the Finesse Shot Plus. With Finesse Shot Plus, it is something different. I don't actually understand how good this is. Why is it so good? I, it takes us back to FIFA 11 or FIFA 12, FIFA 10, where you just used to whip a finesse there. Keepers just malfunction. A high rate keeper should be able to get there. I get it, it should be really good for lower rate keepers. Like if you go on clubs, you can spam that all day long because you're playing against low rated players. But as soon as a pro keeper's in there, it should stop them, but no, it breaks them as well. They struggle with it. That is a problem in the game that you can't have in there. You can't bring stuff in that's gonna break the meta. And I feel like personally, Playstyle Plus, should have been just for clubs only. You should have kind of left it on there and added an element, kind of like what you unlock, the same way we used to do with accomplishments. Everyone who remembers accomplishments knows that was the peak of all of uh, pro clubs. That's where you want to be at. And I think bringing it into Ultimate Team, you're allowing a broken meta, you're allowing things to get into the game that shouldn't be in there and causing malfunctions. Which kind of takes me on to point number two, the goalkeeping. Let alone the defending, I'm going to move away from that one slightly, but the goalkeeping... I don't even know where I can even start here. I can show you so many clips of just the goalkeeping just malfunctioning. Keepers getting down for a ball and just missing it. Diving the wrong way. I get you when you move your keeper, it should kind of give you a little bit of a negative thing as well. And you maybe if you move him, he struggles with the dive a bit. But higher keepers should be able to do that. They should be able to anticipate. You should add things in which allow these things to work. You can't be able to move, obviously, a 60 rate keeper and expect the same result. But now we just, it, at the start of the game, we really didn't. I, I didn't care who I had in goal. We could put anyone in goal. I could have just put Rashford in goal. It don't matter because I expected the exact same thing over and over again. You can't have this in a game where every time there's a shot, you keep it as malfunctions. Why is there shots that break keepers? You shouldn't have that. This is a problem that's been a long time for FIFA, but you've kind of, we've allowed it. We've just allowed it and allowed it and allowed it, but it has to stop. Now we've got our own breakaway as well with EAFC. We thought, oh, there are going to be changes. Gullible little me made the same mistake, thought there was going to be changes. There's never going to be changes. They're never going to change this game. This is what they enjoy doing. And I, yes, I do generally believe at this point they do enjoy doing it. They're sat there, they're making a whole ton of money, and they're happy. They have a menu-based game, and they just allow people to do what they want there as well. And the final one I want to talk about before I can rant on all day about them all is the use of DDA, where you lot will know as scripting. They claim, obviously, DDA was never in FIFA. It's never in anything as well. But you can't explain what we're seeing. How many times have you been 1-0 up or 2-0 up and you're dominating the game, but all of a sudden, you, you can't make a pass? You can't get out. You get caught. Players' touches are all over the place. All day long today, what's driving me to make this video, playing the champs as well, just constant. Every time you're on a good run or whatever, it's just the same stuff. The game is trying to slow you down to make it enjoyable because they know what's the gameplay is. The closer it is, the people that aren't that good at the game, don't have the skill at the game, will keep spending money on the menu because they feel like it's helping them. It's not. There is no skill base to this game. There's a very, there's a bracket almost. There's three big brackets. There's the useless where there's no hope for you. Sorry if you fall into that category. There's the mid range and this could be anywhere from I believe probably nine wins to 14 wins as well, maybe 15, even 16. And then there's the elite. 
There is no kind of general ranking system. The ranks mean absolutely nothing. There is so much broken in this game where the scripting just feels like they are doing whatever they can to make sure you don't get a win. They are making sure that they stay as balanced as possible because everyone's got to have a good time. Participation is what counts. No. This is a game that we all pay a lot of money for and everybody enjoys when there's an actual skill to the game. And if you don't like there's a skill to the game, leave the game. You're not good enough at the game. If you're not ready to practice, you're not ready to put the time in. People that put the effort in and put practice in shouldn't be kind of going, oh, well, we got to take a bit away from you. So think, no, and I get it. We're not all pro players. We're not all somebody who's the elite and it's never going to affect them. But there's a small bracket where people are in and around, but they should be around 15, 16 wins, which is still ridiculously good. But they kind of get negative on there as well. So they get dragged back down a bit to keep that category nice and tight. Because the closer you are to a lower level, the lower level feel like they've got a chance. Which means they keep putting money into the game to stay in there. And it just becomes pay to win. And the more money you put on, it just feels like the more EA support you as well. Which I get it. That's their company. But you call it a simulation game and you make out like this game is meant to be realistic. But this is what you give us. So I don't know. I feel like I could go all day. I hope to have some more comments down below. Let me know what you feel. Let me know what you direction you'd like to see them go in. What you think the problems have been so far for you. Have I nailed it? Did I get it spot on? If I did, just hit the like button as well. Like it anyway, because why not? Uh, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to kind of cover a lot more as well. There's going to be more than just FIFA stuff coming on here as well. Or FC24 even. Content on here. So do hit the bell. Subscribe. Comment down below as I said. Like. And I'll see you next time.